I don't know much about Assange. Could you give me an insight? Starsky, we will. This video, uh, we're going to start off the stream with listening to this seven minute video, okay, by Dan Cohen. So let me link this in the chat for people because this will get everybody caught up with what's taking place right now, specifically regarding the OPCW DOMA documents, the leaks. And we talked about this, how important these leaks are, which is basically anyone that was following what was going on in Syria and definitely knew that Syria would have not used chemical weapons during that time against its own citizens, right? But there was no proof. We argued out of reason, out of history, that there's no way they would have used it, right? There was some uh secondhand news reports that were coming up because the area was occupied by isis right so no western journalists really had any access to it no independent western journalists anyway the ones that had access to it were basically paid shills from the western propaganda machines and allowed to go in there through isis so they 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 were connected up with them right but basically the news that we were getting out out at the time if you looked into it just one level deeper than the corporate propaganda, you knew that it was a lie, that Syria wouldn't use chemical weapons, that it was a false flag. These OPC documents reveal that. And when that stuff was happening, when Syria supposedly chemical attack happened in Doma, it was the only time where the United States was united. It wasn't bipartisan, where the Democrats, the corporate propagandists, the Repu some of the Republicans, some of them not, but the full democratic machine and the Western mainstream media was in support of Trump bombing Syria, which he did, right? Now it's come out that that was a false flag. UK, Britain, and the United States bombed the country because of a false flag operation. And the OPCW is an organization for the prevention of chemical weapons in the world and all that jazz. It's come out that they lied, right? They falsified documents and omitted information and 20, 20 or more of their inspectors have now come out saying that this organization lied. And that lie was huge because not only did France, UK and United States bomb Syria, right? For no reason right we almost started a war with russia okay and you have to remember that china also backs syria so a global war a world war almost began on a false flag humongous this should be on the front pages of every news organization that you are reading if it's not then you are reading propaganda you are being programmed and sleepy waves you asked the question which is uh, chicho i'm confused on what this leakage really means let me link it up to the iraq war that the iraq invasion one called the war is war of aggression right it's a war crime and it was an invasion of iraq Okay, and the invasion of Iraq was done under the pretense that Iraq had weapons of mass destruct destruction, chemical weapons that they could use at any time. And the Western world was riled up to a fear level that you, if you didn't live through that period, you cannot even imagine the, the, the insanity that people were in, right? They, they actually believed corporate propaganda mainstream news that was coming out and their politicians representing institutions in the background that wanted to wage war as to why they had to go and invade iraq and all of it has come out over the last 15 years that it was all based on lies all of it all of it all of it right and if we're living in just times all of those people that started the Iraq invasion and continued the Iraq invasion that has resulted in hundreds of thousands of murders, right? And tens of millions of refugees being created and all this jazz that had a domino effect into Syria, into Yemen, into Turkey, into Iran, into Libya and all this jazz, right? They would be 
on trial for war crimes, right? Your question, Sleepy Wave, Chicho, I'm confused on what this leakage really means. Phil Donahue was the, you could call him a journalist, but you, you could say he was the longest running, he had the longest running um, television talk show broadcast in U.S. It started in the 1960s. And in 2002, 2003, he was fired because he was the only voice on Western mainstream media that was opposing the Iraq invasion, that he was bringing on guests and sharing information that was saying, hey, Iraq doesn't have weapons of mass destruction. This is a lie. We're going into war for a lie. And I don't know which station he was in, ABC, NBC, or whatever it was. They fired him. They took the longest running television show in the United States off air because the host of that show was presenting information that went against what the government propagandists were sharing that was getting people to support the war in Iraq. Okay. Link that up to what the OPCW, OPCW Doma docs represent. These, this organization, the organization for the provincial, pre prevention um, um, of chemical weapons, okay, is a global watchdog, supposedly manned by scientists, unbiased, that go into regions where there has been reported that chemical weapons have been used or they're doing weapons inspections and whatnot, to figure out if chemical weapons have been used or if any country or institution is creating chemical weapons to be used somewhere, right? They're basically the watchdog, the global watchdog. And it's come out that this global watchdog has been compromised. And the report that they released about Syria did not contain information that their scientists had shared. And they actually, in this report, we find out that the scientists that they sent to investigate the chemical attack in Syria, there was 20 of them or something, they were all pulled from the case and a new group was put in to write the report to blame Syria for the chemical attack. So instead of using just mainstream corporate propaganda to start another invasion in the Middle East, they actually co-opted the war machine, the OPCW, global watchdog, to put out a fake report, okay, that went against their own inspector's findings to start another invasion, to start another war in Syria. That's how big this thing is. It's huge. And if you look at the, if you go back and you read some of the leaks, I believe it's three leaks from Washington Post that they put out regarding the Afghanistan papers that in the last since the invasion of Afghanistan US officials have lied about Everything that is going on in Afghanistan who they are allies with Where the money is going that they're supposedly winning that they're winning the hearts and minds They're building infrastructure that all their generals and politicians and majors or whatever they all think they're doing great they just need more funding it's come out that in the last 18 years all three administrations bush jr obama and trump have been lying to the american people and that has resulted in hundreds of thousands of people dying millions of refugees being created i believe it's over five or six trillion dollars being wasted in afghanistan right by the war machine this should be front page news because this is also connected to the DOMA, OPCW DOMA report, okay? That's the general gist, the quick uh, recap of what this means.